We are sat in a departure lounge waiting to board our flight to Alicante. I feel like I didn't even sleep. We got up so early. Here's Did Hannah, you? by the way. Hi. We might as well not bother going to bed if I'm honest with you, but yeah, we're almost, almost ready to get on the plane, so it's been worth it. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like this is a little bit spontaneous. I haven't really spoken about this on my social media until today. However, I'm currently in Spain. I'm in Benidorm with the team from Isoli UK and they have gifted us this trip. There are three of us and then one of them here with us. So there's like four of us in total and I think it's just gonna be so exciting. So you've probably seen a little montage. Reason I didn't start the vlog this morning was because we got up at 3 a.m. Uh, so I didn't really feel like vlogging, so we just got here, we look a little bit more presentable now, a lot more put together. We've arrived at the hotel, we had the speediest of turnarounds, so we're heading straight back out for lunch with the guy from... Benidorm. <laughs> Benidorm, yeah! Visit Benidorm, and we are then going pretty much straight away on a bike tour, like an electric bike tour, somewhere slightly off the coast. I'm gonna stop waffling because I wanna show you the view. This hotel room is possibly the best hotel room I've ever stayed in in my life. So this is the main view. I'm gonna insert a clip here of Hannah revealing the view of the sea, which took longer than it should have. But... Ready? Yeah. Oh, it's actually a lot more difficult than I thought. <laughs> Ow! A gradual reveal by <laughs> Fab Han. Slowly but surely. <laughs> We're getting there. Nearly. Oh, it's so hard, it's like a workout. Yeah, we've got a hot tub, a jacuzzi, whatever you want to call it, little chairs and a bottle of Prosecco, or is it champagne? Is it actual champagne? It's Carver. Okay. Oh. Now there is someone at the door. This is the bed, these are some swans, and then this is Ray at the door. <laughs> right, we're gonna go, I'm gonna grab my bag, we are gonna head on our way. Paella, however you say it, has arrived. Look at that, guys. Everybody's vlogging it. Hannah's vlogging it, Lydia's vlogging it, even Ray's filming it. We've never seen something so impressive. We are sat on the beachfront, uh, filmed a little time lapse. We've been eating some food, little snacks. We had some calamari, we had some bread. Um, and now the main meal has arrived. You guys saw the size of that, it's actually ridiculous. I've actually never tried the paella, paella, however you say it, but I feel like it's very Spanish. I've got my glass of sangria. Couldn't be more Spain right now. Look at my view as well. Look at that. This is my first time trying paella, which I think is how you say it. It looks incredible. So we've just finished eating. We ate so much food. I can't even tell you. We had literally about five courses. We have been sitting there for about two hours though. And we are heading now. Not actually too sure where exactly, but we're going on like an electric bike tour, which I'm so excited about. Also slightly apprehensive because I'm not very sporty and also the kind of person that will just fall off or like, so I'm hoping fingers crossed. Yeah, that he's gonna be here. I'll be here to and share it with the world. <laughs> yeah, you can film it and I'll just sit on the floor probably. Don't know what to expect, but hopefully I'll be able to film some of it don't really know how that's gonna work but i'm hoping i can film some of it for you guys so i'm on a motorized bike right bear in mind i haven't really bike ride bike ride bike bike ridden since i was about eight i don't even own a bike at home i have no bike like no i can bike at the gym when it's like stuck on the ground you just like hit the brakes and stuff to stop as a normal person would but it goes really fast i am low-key very scared and we're going on a mountain tour on these so will i survive this trip with both my legs not broken who knows how did you find it <laughs> by the sea, literally in this little like home bit. Still on the bike tour, we just came down the mountain, which was a lot harder actually than going up it. You'd think it'd be the other way around, but no, the speed you gain going down it, it just was a, it just, well it was a good time, but I felt like I was gonna come off, honestly, it was so fast. Hannah was in front of me, just lost sight of her. One minute she was I'm there, speeding. next minute she's gone. I was like, well, where have they gone? Yeah. <laughs> and I was okay. like, oh my God, but it's fine. Yeah. Haven't fallen off it yet, so well, going okay, well. yeah. <laughs> It is now considerably later. I have got changed. Obviously, I didn't do my mountain biking in this. Um, but we're going out for dinner in the old town. So I didn't know what to wear at all. The other girls are wearing dresses. And it's kind of like a... 
a vibey night. I don't really know, to be honest, what the outfit kind of style is. I literally brought so many clothes on this trip because I just didn't know. Um, but I have gone for this. It is like a blazer play suit. I've actually never worn it, but I've had it for about two years. Um, it's from H&M. They don't sell it anymore. Um, and I've got a matching scrunchie and I've also braided the top of my hair. I don't know if you can see it. So I think we're gonna go and get some pictures. I think this is quite a nice outfit. Uh, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I kind of feel like that is what this trip is about. This right here is the view I'm still looking at. You can't see me, but like, Look at this view, we're having dinner with this tonight. Starters have just arrived, this looks so cute. These are mozzarella balls as well, I think, which is so exciting because I literally love cheese. Gracias. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. Enjoy. Thank you, gracias. This is the best looking dessert I think I've ever got. Candy floss, ice cream, what is this, strawberry? Strawberry something. And it keeps supplying us with alcohol. If I drink any more, I'm gonna be a mess. Oh, Thank you. Your disgusting. tolerance your tolerance is higher than mine, honestly. I'm <laughs> feeling it. I can feel it. You know, we've, got, we've gone from like Prosecco to white wine to, to red wine, wine to, to sweet wine. Sweet wine. I got in from the meal about half an hour ago and we had so much food yet again. And I've just been sitting here pretty much ever since. Told myself I was gonna go straight to bed. But then I started just having like a deep thought and I was like, whoa. This is literally insane. Yeah, I don't really have any words. I think I'm just overtired. I've actually been up for 20, 20 hours now with no sleep. Uh, so I think I just need to go to sleep. But I just think it's insane that doing this, this crazy, like what am I actually doing? I'm literally talking to a camera has, allowed me to do stuff like this like i just want to say thank you i know it's not the end of the vlog i just wanted to say it in the middle of the vlog because there's more chance that more of you are still watching and i want you to know that i'm literally so grateful it's like i'm literally out here having such a good summer having such a good time yeah not gonna waffle on just hit me and now it's been half an hour and i really should be asleep by now so that is what i'm gonna go do i'll pick you up in the morning <laughs> This is my outfit for day two. Today is another day full of activities, another day with very exciting things going on. This bandeau is from Pretty Little Thing. The shorts are from I Saw It First. I think, or they might also be Pretty Little Thing. I'll link everything down below. Just in case you wanted a quick view out the window, it still looks as beautiful as ever. I am now about to head down to get some breakfast before the day starts. That is a view. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. That is a view. Look at how insane this is. We have just taken so many photos here. I'll insert a few on the screen, but it's just so pretty. You can see the whole of Benidorm and it just doesn't look how I imagine Benidorm to look. Wait, there's a pyramid. There's a pyramid? Where are you looking? Can't you see that big pyramid right there? Behind that blue roller coaster? Oh yeah. Oh, there wow. is an actual pyramid. Wow. Pyramid. But yeah, there's so much here. And then you can kind of see the next coastline as well, like round that, that mountain. I don't know what beach that is. We've arrived at the winery, which is our next thing. We finished our little Jeep tour. The company was called Marco Polo, and they do loads of stuff like that, loads of outdoor activities. Now we've come to taste some alcohol, which is my kind of thing. We have just finished in the winery. It was actually really interesting. We got to try seven wines. So there was a white wine, a rosé, and then five red. Don't really like red, although I did try them all. Um, but the white wine and the rosé were really, really good. Obviously, they're like made there, so they're so fresh and stuff. But we've just gone for lunch in a restaurant called Somme de Mar, which is on the beach, like literally out here. It's the beach. How nice is that view? We've just got back. I look so extra right now. This is like a bikini cover up and we are just going up to the pool to chill. We've got two hours of free time until we really need to do anything again. So we're just gonna go and sunbathe. Don't actually have anything to do, like read a book or listen to music because my phone is dead and I finished my book on the plane. So I'm just gonna probably have a nap if I'm honest. Absolutely love this bikini that I have on is from Calvin Klein. Um, I bought this with Hannah in an outlet. Hannah and I were about to vlog us opening the Prosecco or champagne, whatever it is, and it literally just exploded on oh, its own. Itself. We just opened this and we were gonna film it and then, nope, it had other ideas. I think I did it like, like five minutes. Yeah, but still, I swear they don't usually just pop on their own. 
Why has it done that? That was really weird. <laughs> anyway, we're filling up the hot tub or the jacuzzi. I literally don't know the difference. And we have set the phone up to take a picture. Look at this for a tripod. Behind the scenes of Instagram. I bet you didn't think it was taken on whatever that is. I actually don't know what this is. Is it a stool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we finally worked it out. It took us oh so God, long. Like yeah, I know. That's what I mean. I think we need to turn the tap off. No, we need to turn the tap oh off. <laughs> Oh my god. I had visions literally of the whole room flooding because it was so forceful when it came on. Well, it's on. We've got it working. You look so bougie. Me? Yeah. I genuinely watched as much of the video Is this dress the camera doesn't really like it but I've got it on with these white sandals it's from Bershka I'll leave a link down below to it um, and I have put on a tiny little bit of eyeliner don't know if you can see it little wing basically it I'm gonna bring my jacket with me because uh, it actually gets kind of chilly in the evenings we're heading out to take some photos first and then we're going to a restaurant a rooftop restaurant for cocktails I think the plan keeps changing but I'm pretty sure that is what it is guys this is so cute there's like a little market here Hannah's here Borrowed my hat. <laughs> it suits you. It matches the dress, which I also have in red. But yeah, there's like market stores. We came here last night, but it was raining, so none of these guys were here. But today, this is super cute. Come up to take photos because it looks very, very like Instagramable, very holiday esque, almost Greek. We are about to go up how many floors? 20 something? Brilliant. <laughs> Scared of heights, but. You know what, it's okay, we're going for drinks at the top, so it's gonna be worth it. Okay, no, I actually am quite scared of Are you? Yeah. We have just arrived at a rooftop bar, what is the name of this? Can you remember? But basically, we're having cocktails, we're having food here, is that oh, like that? Oh, plans are 20. So nice. Oh my god, wow. I have gone for a raspberry mojito, though it's got a strawberry on the side, but you know what, I'll take it, don't really mind. It looks amazing. It also has, yeah, half a tree in there. I think these are mint leaves. I literally love mojitos. I've got a hat on now, you can't really see me, but do you know what, that's not the point of this clip. The point of this clip is a taste test. Oh my God. Oh, that is so nice. This restaurant, it's honestly insane. Every restaurant we've been to so far, I've been like, oh my God, there can't possibly be somewhere better than this. But there is, every everyone we go to is better than this. Look at the view. Don't know how well you can really see it. If I lift you up, you can kind of see. Basically, this is the sea. This is the entire city over here. Here is Lydia. <laughs> Looking radiant. The sun is hitting you so nicely right now. Yeah, you guys look so cute. Look at this, it almost looks like a dessert on camera. This is not a dessert. <laughs> Officially the dodgiest lighting in the world, it's a spotlight. Yeah, I've just had a really quick shower and I am gonna edit a thumbnail now and go to sleep, it's like half 11. We have to be up and out in the morning for about nine o'clock, which isn't too bad because we are going jet skiing. Right, so we're just gonna throw this out here. I can't really swim very well. In fact, I can't really swim. And I have never jet skied before, so I feel like it's gonna go well. And then we are also doing some scuba diving. We're going on a little boat trip, I think. It's gonna be such a good day tomorrow. So obviously I don't really need to do any makeup or really do anything because we're literally going scuba diving, so that would be pointless. I had the most amazing night with the most amazing food. Honestly, guys, I've been so well fed here. They do like five courses every time you eat. That's a lot. Let me tell you, I am loving this trip so far. Benidorm has got so much to offer that I just literally did not know about. Good morning. It is 
<coughs> it's nine o'clock on Thursday morning. Today is the day of the kind of like water activities. We're doing jet skiing, we're doing scuba diving. I explained this last night. It's kind of a little bit cloudy, but I think it's gonna be really, really good. It's meant to brighten up as well. I've just put on a bikini. I absolutely love it. In fact, I'm just gonna show you, you know. So it actually matches the dress, basically. I can't be bothered to take the dress off fully. This is from Pretty Little Thing. It's meant to be a set from Pretty Little Thing. However, I, I swapped to high-waisted red shorts. The bikini on the website comes with low-rise shorts, and on me, it's just not that flattering. Then I found these in a shop called Tenazes or Tezaniz in Italy and they're just gorgeous. They're high-waisted, they've got this at the side, they're the exact same shade of red. So the bikini just looks so much better, like just way more flattering. As a girl who didn't wear a lot of red up until recently, this is a step forward. I am about to go meet Han now. She's actually staying in the room right next door to me, like literally this room here. Um, so I'm gonna go and knock on her and we are gonna go down for some breakfast. I feel like doing water sport, you might need a fair bit of breakfast cause like it's tiring. I've never scuba dived in my life. I don't even know really what that entails other than like a massive oxygen tank. Lol, I can't really swim. <laughs> we are waiting to go on the jet ski. We've just come downstairs and we've got like 10 minutes to wait, I think. How are you feeling? So nervous. Really nervous. Neither of us have done this before. Neither of us are strong swimmers either if we fall off. But I think it's going to be really good. Like, I'm really excited. Oh, yeah. I think we'll be fine once we're on it. Yeah, it's just the initial getting on it and, like, working out how how you jet ski. It's like. the thought of being in the sea that terrifies me. Yeah, you just get a water. I think it'll be okay. I think it's going to be fine. And I was like, no, it isn't. <laughs> from jet skiing. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was probably the scariest thing I've ever done, but I'm really glad that I can literally sit here and say that I've done it. Like, I did not think I would ever do that. If you ask me on a regular day, do you want a jet ski? I'd be like, oh no thanks, I'll watch, because I'm quite scared of the sea, can't really swim, and I am so unbelievably motion sick, so, so seasick, that it's just not usually something I'd do, but I thought, you know what? You only have one, you know, you might as well try it. And I'm really, really glad that we did. It was very choppy. The guy that was like instructing us was like, oh, it's it's unusually bumpy today. But we're sat here now, we've done it. And um, it's not stopping here. We're about to, we're about to scuba dive. Scuba dive. Yeah, today's just going from one scary thing to another. I'll let you know how this goes. I feel like this might be better because there's less like motion involved. In yeah, I think I was a better passenger than I was driver of the um, of the jet ski, but you know, we got back and that's all that really matters. Ah, then if you feel that this, the, the jacket's inflating or deflating, don't worry. I'm in a scuba diving suit and I've got it on back to front. It took literally three attempts with three different people helping me, but I'm into it. Got these stupid shoes on and I'm very, very sweaty and warm, right? I'm actually kind of excited to get in the sea just so that I'm like not as restricted. This is not a comfortable experience. Fair play to you if you um, scuba dive all the time because I feel like some people have this as like a hobby. We are on the boat ready to go out. We've got the gear. with what happened today don't get me wrong it was still such a fun day but you know how i said i get really motion sick when i'm on boats <laughs> yeah i got really motion sick like very um to the point where i actually didn't do the scuba diving which is so upsetting because i really wanted to try it but there were everybody that we spoke to today said that the sea was like unusually choppy so hannah and i opted out of that and we got a boat back eventually and it was it was totally fine like we ended up just back on the land because we didn't do the scuba diving lydia did however lydia absolutely loved it so if you don't get seasick and if you know you're into water activities it looked so much fun and i would love to have done it but i just felt so ill by the time we got there that i wouldn't have like really trusted myself to do an activity that I'd never done before however it didn't spoil the day at all it was just you know one of those things really so I'm back in the hotel room now we did a little bit of sunbathing as you saw up on the rooftop terrace um, we're gonna wash my hair and get ready for our final dinner this evening we're going for a tapas meal so we're all going well we've all we've all had every meal together but it's like our last meal all together tonight um, and obviously tapas is very Spanish so we're going for a tapas I look like the definition of a Mediterranean summer but I'm ready for our final evening I'm not the place that I'm wearing tonight I have had this for years I'm impressed that this still fits me 
I think I bought this when I was in year 11. I'm gonna prop you down and show you. It is this play suit from Primark. I really, really like it. I think the hat kind of goes with it. I think it's a bit of a vibe. Also, please excuse the state of the hotel room. I was starting to like pack a little bit because we're getting picked up for the airport at like half past 10 in the morning, so I can just pack the rest in the morning. But yeah, gonna go meet Hannah, Lydia, Ray, everybody downstairs. Now we have just walked up these stairs here low-key quite out of breath but worth it because look at this view it's gorgeous do you know what i love most about coming in places like this so random palm trees the girls are getting the gram go on lydia this beach is gorgeous so gorgeous it's called sergio's just telling us about it so pretty i like it because there's not enough there's not a lot of sunbeds and it's just pretty yeah it's a bit more sheltered isn't it yeah. They are now cooking the beef in front of us. Take one, and you cook it, yeah. and make another. Oh, this is great because you can just let it cook until you're like ready and happy with it. Guys, we just finished up dinner. We had tapas, we're so full. We have eaten so incredibly well. I don't really know why I'm wearing a hat also in the dark. Just didn't really have anywhere to put it. My hair's a massive mess, but we just said goodbye to our tour guide. His name is like, well, we've been saying Sergio. It turns out it's like Sergio, like, Spanish and we just said goodbye to him he has been the best tour guide we literally could not have done this trip without him at all um, and I definitely definitely recommend looking into some of the stuff on the visit Benidorm Instagram if you're coming here and um, because there's so much to do that you maybe just don't think about and he's definitely shown us the other side to it like 100% he's so passionate about his city so passionate about his job and I think it's so like interesting to just know more about the place from a local rather than like you know just winging it anyway we're heading back to the hotel now it's like the end of our final night which is so sad i was saying to hannah earlier it's gone so fast like i just don't really know where the time's gone it's the morning of the last day got the same plats in as last night because i'm gross good morning it is friday now it is the last section of our trip essentially what we're doing today is just traveling home there is a car coming to pick us up in about an hour i think so in a few minutes hannah and i are going to pop down go for breakfast this hotel, right, I really recommend it. It's called Hotel Villa de Mar, which I think is like hotel on the sea because I think Mar is sea. Learned some Spanish while I've been here. It is just gorgeous. It's all inclusive, I think, as well. Or oh, we are in it all inclusive. I'm not sure if you have to be, but the food and the drinks. I just keep taking my card to the cocktail man at the top floor and being like, hi, I'll have a sex on the beach, please. And he's like, yep, and I don't have to pay, which generally is what happens in an all-inclusive hotel. But I've never stayed all-inclusive before. Like, I've literally never been on an all-inclusive holiday. So for me, that's madness. Suitcase is all packed up. This is one last look at the room. Look at that view. I will never, ever forget the incredible view from this trip because this window is prettier than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> We have just arrived back in Manchester. The flight was like really good and it felt like it went really quick. Didn't Hannah have to use the emergency exit No, either. true, actually no we didn't at all. It was totally fine, which is great because that would have been a nightmare. Um, but Hannah is about to leave now. Ray has just left, who was like our rep from Isoly. She's left, Hannah's leaving, and then it's just gonna be me. That's it, I'll probably vlog next when I'm home, which hopefully, fingers crossed, isn't gonna take too long. <laughs> Hannah's got a right drive. You're gonna be in the car for the next four or five hours. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I am now back in Leeds, basically. They had booked me a taxi to Leeds thinking that I was at my flat, but I'm actually not. Obviously, I'm back at home. Um, so I thought, oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll be in Leeds with more than enough time to spare to get the train that I used to get when I was at uni back home to make sure that I was home for six o'clock. That didn't happen. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really make a massive difference, to be honest, but I just missed the train by four minutes because there was an accident on the M62, so we were sat in traffic for ages. This taxi driver was like, I don't think we're gonna make your train. I was like, I don't think we are. So I've got an hour <laughs> to sit and prep. So I've got myself a cup of tea and I'm just gonna edit the vlog. So it's not too bad. The taxi driver was being really nice. He was like, oh, so what were you doing out in Spain? And I was trying to explain like oh, vlogging. <laughs> I have been home for two days now and I haven't ended this vlog so I'm gonna end it here. I've got wet hair and no makeup on but you know what it doesn't really matter. Thank you very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed it so much. I want to say the biggest biggest thank you to iStolly UK or iStolly.com I think is what it's actually called um, and Visit Benidorm for gifting me and Hannah and Lydia the trip. It was amazing. We had the best time honestly. I miss it already. The girls are so lovely. I just really really enjoyed it so thank you so much for watching the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it too subscribe down below i'll be back with another video on saturday and i shall see you all then bye